Who's the burger now? Hanged burger. Does it taste good? Character who doesn't need glasses. Character who does. With. Without. Actually, the best character designs are the ones like this. If you wear glasses, though, this is exactly what it feels like. Oh no. Oh, that makes me sad. Two vast and trunkless legs of stone. Look on my blocks, ye busters, and despair. I do. I do despair a lot. Roman soldier. Halt, strange person! Where are you from? Time traveler. I come from the future. What are your names? This is Quintus, as I am the fifth child in my family. My comrade is Sextus, for he was the sixth child in his family. What is your name? My name's Liv. Starts counting on his fingers as his eyes open in fear. Has anyone tried to see if chimpanzees or bonobos can be taught to fully master fire? This one guy did, and he was chained to a mountain to have an eagle eat his liver every day. What? How you been? That bean looks so done, and it doesn't even have a face. Honestly, you are very correct. That is a fantastic frame. Me with a cursed amulet. But it makes me look cute, and the shadow that follows me makes me active. I get out more. Think about it. It's good for me. What is it about being on a plane that makes people go buck wild for ginger ale? Literally everyone be ordering it. Well, ginger ale is supposed to help settle your stomach if you're nauseous, so people get it on planes if they get plane sick. Ginger growing the ground so it keeps you connected to God's earth while you're thousands of feet up in the heathen, the heathen tube. Some of us just like ginger ale, man. What an idiot. The iron isn't even plugged in. He's trying, and that's all that matters. Black Mirror. Society is too addicted to technology. Me, on my phone while watching every episode? Wild. Wait, I have an awesome house design. I am architecture. Okay, here we go. We've got entrance, house, pretty cool, closet door, big, long, evil closet. Okay. This is so evil that it's been on my dash probably half a dozen times, and only now is my brain finally comprehending what nightmare is happening here. This would either be cool or horror, depending on who you are. Oh, dude, me? I would absolutely play it up for the horror aspect. One of my friends accidentally discovers it, and then, you know, thinks he's stumbled into hell? Oh, I'd be all over that, man. A scaleless snake. They're scaleless as a result of a mutation. I feel like I'm seeing something I shouldn't have the ability to perceive. He nakey lewd noodle. A loodle, if you will. It looks like a snake-shaped sphinx cat. I think he's cute. Look at those big eyes, I just won't pick you up, give you, 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 come here. Little Timmy the Tuscanini has 11 cards. Branston the Eerie has 3 cards. Chuffer Bob the Mirka has 28. The pile has 4 cards in it. Here's your hand, 6 cards. Branston the Eerie played 4 kings. Accuse him of cheating, or let it slide. Branston the Eerie, you are a bold one. I don't understand, and it makes me mad this time? Like a really old person? Starting a fight, consoling a child, petting a dog. Hey, buddy. But what are the orange, green, and purple ones? Orange. You want to go outside? Purple. Shushing noises. Green. Do you want me to call your mommy? So I just got to that part of Kingdom Hearts. What the fu- uh do you have the slightest idea how little that narrows it down? Yeah, I could I could try and ask Zach because he's played most of them, if not all of them. But uh, eh. cannibalism? No, 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 no. I think you mean canana banana 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 are you a wet cell phone? No, look, rice is just awesome, okay? Never trust these hoes with idealized utopia islands and all cute cat villagers. When they aren't posting pastel screenshots of their island, they're beating the shit out of their unwanted villagers with a net until they move away. Could've stopped four words in, playa. Co-signed. I love when kinky people are like, I'm such a freak in private. You'd never guess that in my normal life I'm a nerd who works in tech and plays D&D. Baby girl, yes we would! Can y'all stop finding me in the woods and asking me for my Windussie? The first time it was funny, but when you record me and post it on the internet as a meme, I will tear your skull out and drink your brain juice like Mountain Dew. F uh. What? Oh my god, look at those anime eyes. Oh my god, look at those anime eyes! There are two kinds of anime. The series involves a young man out on a quest with a goal that seems impossible. He's accompanied by a female and a male companion. What is their goal, you may be asking? 
Simple to get them all. The protagonist goes through many hardships, but thanks to the help of his friends, he's able to overcome them. Battling many opponents from large to small, he loses many friends along the way, but this doesn't stop him from going after what he wants more than anything else in the world. Oh my god. I don't know what the second one is. Is that... what is that? Is that Attack on Titan? I don't know. Oh my god. So we opened the portal to hell today. What? They canceled that unit in my school science classes every year! Me thinking about how Freud and Carl Jung had a very strong academic and regular friendship, but they got into a huge fight with each other over academic and philosophical differences. <gasps> and couldn't reconcile their differences because one of them believed that human identity was immutable and decided before birth, while the other believed that human identity was collective and more fluid. And I'm like, maybe y'all could have mixed your ideas to make them either one, less insane, or possibly two, ten times as insane and hilarious. I definitely lean more towards Carl Jung's side, or Carl Jung's side, in the idea that human identity is fluid and collective. That's great. An Australian guy, Bill Morgan, was declared dead for 14 minutes. He somehow survived. To celebrate his survival, he bought a scratch card and won a $27,000 car. The media slash news asked him to reenact the scratch card moment, so he bought another card and won another $250,000 jackpot. God is trying to apologize. Oh sh**, my bad, bro. He must have went to hell for that 14 minutes. Welcome to hell, Phil. What the- who's Phil? Aren't you Phil Morgan? Today's your day, kid. What? No, my name's Bill. I'm Bill. I'm dead? Oh, give me a sec. Dials heaven. They can do that? DTF. All head over heels. She's got four hands. Lesbians are just that powerful, man. Yeah, didn't they teach you that in school? They taught me that in school. How do I sleep at night knowing Charles Martinet is a classically trained professional voice actor who stayed perfectly in character during his original audition and performed till they ran out of recording tape and ad-libbed his lines for MTT to be kinder and more encouraging than his original script and treasures his Mario voice very dearly and loves performing it and they gave him a bit of a cameo in a movie about the iconic beloved character he's voiced for decades in favor of Chris Pratt. Charles, I want to voice Mario until I drop dead Martinet. Woohoo! Honestly, it does, it, it does piss me the f*** uh. off. You know, as someone who is a professional voice actor and has been for over a decade now, I'm really, really, really tired of the let's get the famous guy. I understand from a business standpoint, let's get the famous guy usually means more people are going to go see your movie, but if Mario was still played by Charles and all the other characters were played by the famous actors that play them, what the fuck? Uh. Seriously, Charles can do it. I, for one, am one of the people that is more than okay with them saying, ah, Chris got paid, but fuck uh. it, let's have Charles give it a go. Uh. Make it a Blu-ray extra. I don't care. I want to hear it. Listen to the French dub of that trailer and tell me that's not immediately a thousand times better. I'm sorry, but Pratt just seems like a bit of a brat and didn't seem like he really put in any work. That's just my opinion from the, again, like two lines we heard. But we'll see. We'll see! I'm gonna wait! For final judgment, I'm gonna wait, okay? I take back what I said. I'll wait. I promise. Just for you. Even though you don't give a uh. shit. <laughs> Imagine a horse game without all the drama and busy work. The f*** uh. is horse game drama? If you have to ask, then you aren't prepared to know. As I've said many times, no android redesign of GLaDOS will ever be hotter than her canon design. You may quote me on this till the day I die. How do you have sex with that? I don't know. Rise to the occasion or die where you stand, coward! Adult cereals. Fifty Shades of Grain. Uh. Flakes. Special D. Rice Frisky. Raisin Bran. Oh, dear lord. Nout f uh. matter. Only pain. Suffering. God said, how shall I slap a man most f uh. bastardly? And backhanded, he... Su su what? Actually, it was me. I ate them as a joke. On all fours at 5 a.m. while snuffling in the dirt. Sorry. Uh, ooh, that sh uh, Imagine Dragon song. Uh oh, the f uh, three. Everyone wanna be my. Oh, I see what you're saying. An animal ate all of my boyfriend's decorative cabbages, and he's reacting really okay and proportionally. I mean, decorative cabbages are pretty neat, but I. W okay, honestly, no, I'd react exactly the same way. One of the pranks I would play on my mutuals if I had a time machine would be copying their response to something, going back in time five minutes before they posted it, and rewriting the response in full where they could see it. Would they recognize their own writing? 
Would they sense the uncanniness of it? Wait, wouldn't they recognize their own writing? Wouldn't that make their reblog moot? Hey, what the f- uh. Is Owo oh, a variant of Owo, oh, oh, or in fact, someone wearing the Plague Doctor mask? Owo, oh, oh, do yous got the plaguey waggy? We got to fix that before you die, why? I regret everything. No, you don't. Don't sit there and lie. Okay? We know you. Any word that sounds like it might be the noun form of a verb is, in fact, the noun form of a verb, is 100% a valid grammatical rule. Fingers do thing. Creatures do creech. The frisbee is frisbed by the fr frisbert. That's a bit of a- hold on. Let me give that one more go. The frisbee is frisbed by the frisber. Wow, that is- that's tough to say with a throat as swollen as mine right now, let me tell you. Watching Hocus Pocus made me think that Azrafel, is it Azrafel? And Crowley were obviously alive in the 1600s, and so on. Would they even know about the Sanderson sisters, or at least have seen what they have done through the centuries? Thinking what their take would be on them. And that was why God created fan fiction. Oh, they definitely knew. I can't decide if Chainsaw Man's actually a commentary on the frankly absurd hardships and sacrifices the average human is expected to throw themselves into in order to attain even the most basic needs in Maslow's hierarchy, or if I'm simply overthinking a series about if, what if Guy had chainsaws for arms, would that be cool or what? For context, I just read the arc where Denji literally goes to hell so he can enjoy a nice vacation. He goes there for what? Yeah, you know, I do feel like a lot of anime is just what-if weird thing. That's it. And I love it. That's why I love anime so much. It's because there is nothing that seems to be off-limits in that world. Nothing stupid-sounding will be called too stupid for anime. I mean, my favorite one's about a theme park full of magical creatures, where they have to hit a certain number of visitors in the year, or they're gonna be closed down, which means all the magical creatures are gonna be severed from their actual magical world, and then they're all gonna die. You know, Amagi Brilliant Park, best anime ever? Yeah, I knew you knew. I'd never suck someone silly. It sounds serious to me. Suck him scary. Eldritch Horror. We cannot and will not describe anything. Gothic Horror. Minimum four pages to describe a staircase. There's two ends of the horror spectrum. Do both at once. The narrator describes the house in extreme detail to cope with the inability to describe that which lives inside it. Compound swears like uh. given work best when the second word is a two-syllable word where the first syllable is stressed and contains the same vowel, vowel, wow, of the swear. This is why uh. quamble works, but uh. quamble does not. Finally, a logical explanation of why uh. bucket is such a good word. Uh. Trumpet and uh. biscuit finally make sense now. I feel like half of that was bleeped. I'm so sorry. But also not? More sea life themed disaster movies. Sharknado, Seal Nami, Crabalanche, Whale Storm, Lamprey are falling from the sky for no apparent reason, a light but relentless drizzle of anchovies. That one I need. Are you gonna make me beg? Come on, just stick it in there. I feel like Tumblr's giving me a somewhat skewed impression of what Breaking Bad is about. No, that, no, that's right. Thinking about hospital and university underground tunnels, there's something about them. Oh my god, that one right before the... No, the middle one. I'll just say the middle one. That's the worst one. Like, literally, your doctor tells you to go to another building and take the tunnel because it's faster, and you end up in a literal back room, and depending on how new the construction is, you'll encounter all three pictured above in order. My favorite part of this post is most people in the notes are like, yeah, yeah, scary underground tunnels under hospitals and universities. We've seen all of them. But there's also a small group of people who have never heard of these in their life and are very confused right now. Like me. Floofability score. Sheep. Um, wait a minute. How am I not supposed to bury my face in this fluff? Apex predator my ass. I'm gonna f uh. pet this dog. Although logic, common sense, and basic self-preservation instincts tell us better, we must agree with you, good sir. If bear not friend, why snuff them round? A point we simply cannot and will not refute. I've never seen Death Note, but I know it has two characters that look like this, and one of them's an antisocial genius using a mystical artifact to kill people, and the other one's the determined teen detective hunting him down, and I just found out which is which, and now I want to hit someone. Ha <laughs> ha I don't know which ones are which, I've never seen that one. Something is wrong with everyone on this website. It's like uh. Chernobyl in here. No, Jerma's just awesome. Teach a man to fish and he'll turn around and try to teach you to fish like he invented it and you're an idiot. I feel this in my soul. I feel that I funny watermark. A family of cheetah brothers attempting to cross a flooded river infested with crocodiles in... Well, a nature reserve in Kenya. They all made it across without being eaten. 
Oh, would you look at them go? Look at them teethies. Yep, they look just like that, don't they? <laughs> is it weird that the voice that plays in my head when I read your posts is that of a vaguely royal female British historian? Well, you may be wildly off base in terms of gender, national origin, profession, and social class, but unless the posh British historian you're picturing is specifically a posh British furry historian, at least you got the species right. Other scorpions have really badass tail stingers and claws, but the lesser known tailless whip scorpion has an even better defense mechanism. Just grab uh, me when I uh, get you. Oh my god. Decommissioned kid rides in a scrapyard in Japan. The council. You stand before them after you die, and they decide if you go to heaven. Hopefully I haven't disappointed my boy Thomas. Nicknames, when you shorten someone's name affectionately. Nicholas names, when you elongate someone's name affectionately. Nichard names, when you incorrectly elongate someone's name for humorous effect. Uh, names. When you just start making things up. I like uh, names, they're kind of fun. Like 10 or so years ago, my boyfriend got me a cute little stuffed lamb. I still have the lamb, and the boyfriend, but I realized a few months ago that I never named the lamb. I was unsuccessful in trying to figure out a good name until I thought of your dog, Lamb Chop, and something shaped vaguely like divine inspiration struck. Now the lamb's name is Dog Steak. Last sentence hit me like a truck. Thank you, we are honored. Oh god, what's this? Falcon Nest Cam. Oh, 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 I see. Nope. Definitely one of the top images of all time, I gotta say. Hey, thank you to Birdwatcher32 for the bits, bro. Okay, yep, I was waiting for it. Experienced the generational gap in real life today when my 16-year-old cousin told me my haircut looked like a K-pop idol's and my 56-year-old mother said I looked like I belong in the Beatles. Either way, I was left dead on the streets, so, uh, maybe this is a message? No matter how much things change, something, something, whatever, I'm leaving to go cry now. Imagine if aliens found the dead body of a human being exploded in the vacuum of space and they started making fun of the mutilated corpse, calling it Splatter Alien, and saying it was the ugliest alien in the whole galaxy. Galaxy. And then made stuffed animals of it to sell to their alien kids. That's what happened on this planet to the blobfish. That... That's right! I love old science fiction because it's all like, It's the distant year 2003, and man is exploring the deep corners of the universe. Like, God bless you, old sci-fi, you had such high hopes for us. I was applying for Australian citizenship, and the interviewer asked, Do you have a criminal record? I said, no, is that still required? Oh my god. Jeff, I swear. Dudes who are atheists but believe in the, like, the Earth is a simulation theory are so frickin' funny. Like, they do believe in God, but only if he's some sweaty programmer. I can see it. I forgot I was making caramel at work. It's a tad overcooked. Congrats on making actual f uh? lava? I guess? I feel like the Earth already makes that pretty well. Do you think Magneto gets tan lines from his helmet? It looks like he tanned a d onto his face. Yes, it does. No need to be mean. I like haunted houses in theory, but I have no idea how to react when the actors speak to you. They ask me a question and I just answer it. The scariest part of a haunted house is the unscripted social interaction. Scary nurse in a creepy voice. Do you have an appointment to see the doctor? Me? Uh, do you accept walk-ins? Scary farmer. I like to kill people. My friend, brightly. I like to die. Zombie. Arrgh. Me. Do you get dental insurance? <laughs> Zombie. Teeth. That doesn't really answer the question, but I guess it does enough for our purposes, so. This happened to me. Scary prison dude. Hello. Me. Nice to meet you. Him. No, it's not. My worst horror house experience was when I couldn't find the rather obvious exit, and the guy chasing me with a chainsaw stopped, sighed, and pointed to the exit, saying, please scream as loud as you can when you run out of here, and just left. I, I disappointed the horror house chainsaw dude, and I'll never get over that. They got the hardest job, man, because everybody knows they're there. One of the characters in our D&D party is an orc named Brick. We've established that orcs got their names through tests of strength, and his name is Brick because it's the strongest thing he was able to break with his bare hands. By profession, Brick is a therapist. His ultimate ambition is to be, well, or rather one day, do therapy so good he can change his name to depression. I went into this expecting a beautiful himbo and came out in love with Brick and crying over therapist orcs. I think we can all say that. Sneezing on your period's the worst thing in the world. What happens when you sneeze? Oh, no, no, come on. No, I'm out of here, bro. I'm out of here, bro. First letter of my name. Second letter of my name. First letter of my mom's name. Second letter of my mom's name. 
First letter of my dad's name. Second letter of my dad's name. My child's name would be... My name is Naomi. My mom's name is Ruth. My dad's name is Tom. My child would be called F Naruto. Good luck. Your breast reduction was a success. Where's James? Who do you think took your boobs? James, no! No, James! I know unicorns are usually silver or lavender with those skinny horse legs built for running, but I'd like to see more unicorns with natural coloration built like tanks like these beasts. We need a scale of unicorn. On one end, you have Amalthea. Amalthea, last unicorn? Uh, Amal, the last? I don't know what you're trying to uh -huh. say there. Who is the peak of elegant otherworldly unicorns with silver and lavender colors. And then we need the opposite of that. We need a unicorn who looks like the horse version of a trucker. I think My Little Pony did that pretty efficiently, right? R right? Uh. I'd love to be like, science sucks. Where are the eldritch horrors? Where's the knowledge that's maddening to know? That's thermodynamics, motherfucker. Uh. The first two world experts in thermodynamics both killed themselves because they had to do f uh. thermodynamics. Oh, you want to use abstract methodology? Poorly understood by most to study something so alien to human existence and cannot be intuitively understood? Then in doing so, uncover a terrible truth that implies the unavoidable doom of all humanity? Nice going, Ding Dong, you just found out about entropy. Entropy? What? No more cat boys. Cat men. 28-year-old washed up depressed cat men downing his fifth cat man. I can't read. Downing his fifth whiskey glass and his cat ears twitch depressedly. And then he pushes the empty glass forlornly off the counter. It's crazy growing up and realizing how deranged everyone is and how many problems everyone has in such mundane ways. Your waiter at Olive Garden believes in QAnon. The woman doing your x-ray just moved in with a guy she met a week ago. Your insurance agent is a hoarder, etc. Are Americans finally realizing they aren't secretly the main character and others are not NPCs and we're all in fact people? Yeah, this was the first time I've ever had this thought and it's because I'm a stupid little yank. I do like that though. Only Americans can come to the weird sudden realization of, wow, all people are people with enriched lives doing things. Yeah, grow the f uh. up. The Terraria wiki is incomprehensible if you've never played the game itself. You click on an article about a weapon that looks nice, and the description will be something like, The Slayer of Titans is a pre binga summoning weapon unlocked post-Scrungle. Its base summon damage is 43. Using it activates the Skimblow status effect, which increases your Yoinkie stat. Its EBDB counterpart is the legendary uh. Fuck-Upper. It has a 1 out of 16, or 6.25% chance of dropping by defeating Michael. <laughs> I feel like you could say this with a lot of games, though, if you're heading in without context. Next.